Lucas, so wonderful to meet you. How are you doing and how have you been, you and the family, during all of this pandemic and everything? Yeah, it hasn't been too bad. My dad had to shield because he hasn't got a spleen. But, um, oh, so dear. Be, my mum, my two sisters and my brother. So, so every, good. So everybody's doing okay. And, and how have you been keeping busy? Like, what have you been doing all summer? Um, not much, really. A lot of just <laughs> TV and not doing anything to keep up <laughs> Oh no, come on, you have to be getting outside and getting a little fresh air, right? Yeah, no, playing lots of football and stuff, but... Good, good, good to hear. Well, I, listen, I, I want to congratulate you, first of all. I loved Summerland. I thought it was such a beautiful film. And you, you know, it, 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 why I asked to talk to you, because really my heart so went out to your character, Frank. I thought you did such a beautiful job with this movie. So I, first off, I just want to commend you for a fantastic performance. Thank you. You're very, you're very, very welcome. Um, I want to ask you, when, when you get a script, you know, obviously your parents help you choose what you want to do. What was it about this script when you guys kind of looked at it together and thought this would be a good uh, role for you? Well, um, my agent actually goes through most of the scripts and then we do pretty much everything that he sends to us unless oh. my mum will look at it and go, oh, there's something that, you know, I really don't want him to do if there's something, yeah, I don't know, something that's not quite I mean, it, um, appropriate or something. Then sure. maybe my mum will decide that. But yeah, most of the time I do everything that gets sent. But yeah, this script, um, it was it was really good. I can't remember if we did get the whole script straight away or if it was just... I think we did three scenes initially for the with self tape at first, um, and it's quite interesting because when we go back and watch the film, yeah, you can see the scenes that you did really clearly and you remember them word for word. Like because a lot of the other lines I remember, but the one that I did because there's especially one of the scenes which I did for all of the auditions. So I think there's three altogether. Oh, cool. So when you started to, you know, to, to kind of get to know Frank, to get to know that character, um, thank goodness there's not a lot of similarities in your real life as to what he had to go through. But tell me a little bit how you did relate to him and how you made him feel just so real. Um, well, he, quite, he reminds me a lot of my granddad, really. He yeah. wasn't in that time, but his mum died when he was quite young. And his dad sent him to boarding school. Right. So he was there quite young. And my dad, my granddad's actually called Frank. Oh, and wow. <laughs> he, was, he flew for British Airways for 30 odd years. So it was, that was really interesting when I first read that. There's quite a lot of coincidences in the film. Yeah. With my life, which is really weird. Um, the grocers in the film is called Bonds and my surname's Bonds. And there's just a lot of little things like that. And yeah. yeah a bit weird when I first read the script and then when I got it it just felt like it should have happened almost. I was gonna say it was meant to be. This is like totally your role life for there's nobody else who could have done this I think for sure. This was this was for you. And so once you started to you know uh, play the character and everything of course you, you get to work with the wonderful uh, Gemma Art Arterton and who is so so wonderful in this film. And what I wanted to ask you at first because your characters at first, there's kind of this little bit of a rivalry. She's not sure if she wants to take you in. You know, you're hesitant because you're being put into this new situation. Did you guys kind of um, develop your relationship as the kind of characters went on? Or were you just kind of immediate friends? Um, yeah, sort of the second one. We were, she was so nice. And beforehand, we did a lot of stuff together. So Jess, the director, took both of us down to the cottage where um, the film set and we sat there, all three of us together by ourselves with the C to our right and we just read through the whole script together. And from then I just saw it like Gemma was so nice and so was Jess and yeah, there was never sort of the same thing like between the characters. So, but um, with the characters, it's sort of like Frank is just trying to, he, I always thought of it as, he expected her to be like everyone else. Like in his head, he sort of imagined, oh, he'd go there. She'd be like, oh, hi, I'm staying here. And it'd all be quite like fine. And when he, cause when I played it, I thought as he's quite confused why she's not being so nice to just a young kid. Right, yeah, for sure. Most adults, when you meet them, they just, like not many adults would just go, oh, kid, you're not nice. They just assume you're sort of a nicer person. Yeah, right. And then they, 
welcome you in but she didn't and that's I sort of based that off that like and that it fits in quite well as well with like the jokes he's not really understanding why she's not being nice so mm-hmm. maybe she thinks he's not interesting so then he tries to do the jokes and right of course it, if you watch the film that backfires quite well <laughs> yes it does yes it does and then there's a moment in this movie um this is the moment from when i started crying and then didn't stop for the whole film but when you're in the in the kitchen with her and you guys are starting to kind of warm to each other and you touch um uh, a record that she has and you want to play it and she yells at you like drop that now i don't want to give away anything in in the film at all because honestly i was quite surprised it was a good Good twist what happens in this film. I had no idea, I did figure it out. But um, she gets so emotional because she doesn't want you to touch that, that record for rightfully so. That's what I just started to ball my head off. I couldn't stop. Do you ever get emotional when you do, when you do scenes or did you, you know, what's it like for you? I know you're acting, but you know, that's a really, it, it is quite an emotional movie. Uh, yeah, definitely. My mum cries every time she just watched the trailer. So. <laughs> But in this, I mean, on set, you have to act. Like, you don't feel emotional as much because, or there's quite, like, touchy subjects and it's very emotional what's happened to her, obviously. Mm-hmm. But you don't, because everyone's so nice around you, it doesn't feel like that really, then it's hard. But, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not really sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you're a professional. You know, I, I get it. You know, I, I would not be professional. I would be crying the whole time. So, you know, good, good on you for, for being able to do that. Um, you also get to work, uh, some of the kids in this film, there's not a lot, but you go to school and you have a lot of scenes with, um, with Dixie, who, of course, is in the Secret Garden right now. And I just spoke to her a couple of weeks ago. She's lovely. Tell me about working with Dixie. I uh, know, yeah, Dixie was lovely. I was with her probably, it was about half the time. We were filming down there, so half was just me and Gemma. Yeah. And then half was Dixie, me and Gemma. And yet, yeah, no, she was lovely. She's really like her character in real life. That's what I found. She was perfect for her character. What did you guys do, like, just kind of when, when you guys weren't filming? Um, did you go off and have a good time? Like, what, you know, did you have some fun? What was, what was it like? Yeah, I did, but um, on set, because it was a lot of filming, because we're when she was there it was we were doing all of her scenes and our scenes together so right we went on set it was straight into tutoring so mm. it's just a lot of tutoring together really we didn't yeah. spill it out much because it was then as soon as we got on it was tutoring as much as we can to try and get in the hours right because it was such full on filming anyway so yeah i mean and, and as you were saying before that location is absolutely beautiful i would oh my goodness if i could come out there and stay there for a week it would be fantastic what was it like to to be in that area where where was that exactly where you shot um we stayed in Eastbourne and I think it was it can't be more than a 15 minute drive away I think it's called Beachy Head okay yeah I don't know where exactly it is okay yeah, no it was cottage and actually the person who owns the cottage has been asked quite a few times if people can film there yeah Jess told me um, and I think I think she said no at first and then Jess showed her the script and she just realized that literally it's been written into the script like the house was perfect for the script even though Jess didn't write with the house in mind it's yeah. literally perfect for what she wrote. Oh it's absolutely beautiful I just oh stunning stunning scenery so you know th- this film has a lot to do too about using your imagination and I'm sure as a young boy of course you read a lot you probably use your imagination um what you know what was that like for you to to kind of relate to to Frank on on that level because you know he 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 is going through a hard time there's a lot of stuff going on at this in this time period that kids actually did go through how does imagination kind of help you get through your day um, well, with Frank, he's, his imagination is, is very strong. He, cause he didn't see his dad a lot. So I think a lot of what he remembers and thinks about his dad is almost imaginary. I know mm-hmm. that sounds bad, but especially with the stuff like, I mean, I don't want to give anything away. And I don't think it does, but when he's on the cliff with Alice, yes, it's about going in the plane. And then he says to, um, Alice, Oh, it wasn't scary at all, except from when they shot us. Mm-hmm. Which it sounds like a joke, but then when you realise that he actually thinks that that's one because he's obviously been dreaming or thinking about his dad when he's been away, 
Right. So it's quite sad, but I mean, it's obviously his coping mechanism from not being with his dad. He sort of just imagines or dreams, and then he can't quite tell the difference between when he does spend time with his dad and what he imagined. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really lovely. Such a well-written script. Uh, when, did, when did you know, uh, Lucas, like I said, you're such a great little actor. I, I, when did you know that you wanted to act? Um, I joined a sort of acting group when I was about four or something. And then we're doing a performance of uh, it's Joseph and the Multicolored Dreamcoat. I think. Oh, best, best show, best show ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, the youngest son who gets caught with the... I can't remember the story exactly, but he gets caught yeah. with something. And there was a agent there who came to watch. And then he asked me if I wanted to join the agency. And then I did that for a couple of years. And it's sort of, when I was six, then two years later, I did a film called Molly Moon. Yes. Um, and then from there on, I sort of did one either movie or TV show a year. And then Summerland when I was 12. Amazing, amazing. So now I know, of course, everything is kind of on hold because we can't shoot because of the pandemic and stuff. But do you have other things that you will be working on or something that we'll see you in after Summerland? Um, yeah, the year after Summerland, I filmed two things. So I did uh, the second season of The Alienist. Yes, that's such a great show. I was going to ask you about that. How do you like working on that show? <laughs> scary I didn't actually watch it the first season my yeah. mom and dad when um after I got it um but yeah working on it, it, it that was quite freaky like I say when I was on Summerland I didn't feel anything because right it was such a nice place yes like, that, <laughs> it, was really, it was very very scary just as a place um but yeah no that was great fun working on that as well well, great care. I mean, great uh, co-stars in that I mean Daniel Bruhl, Dakota Fanning, Luke Evans do you ever get starstruck <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, I didn't meet Luke, but I met both Dakota and Daniel, and they're both so nice as well. Yeah, yeah, they really, really are. And then what was the other project? You said you had a second one as well. Um, I did a film called Lady of Heaven, which I don't know if there's anything been about it yet, but it's a story about Muhammad's daughter, who, um, so it's a religious story, but there's a bit in the modern time. Wow. Uh, set in Baghdad and then a bit back in time from the Astoria from the Quran and I think that I'm in the modern half and yeah I don't know too much about the story I wasn't that's okay part, but yeah I'm oh sorry. sounds sounds great sounds wonderful well look, look you are going to be a busy busy young man I'm I, I think I, I from what I understand I am your very first interviewer is that correct yeah. I, can't, I can't believe that. I can't believe people don't want to talk to you. But after me, people see this interview, they're going to want, your phone's going to be ringing a lot. So just, you know, be careful about that, okay? <laughs> but I do want to really congratulate you again um, on your wonderful performance in Summerland. Really, it, it just, my heart went out to Frank. You did such a fantastic job. And uh, you're a lovely young man. And I just wanted to thank you so much for your time today. And I hope, I hope it went okay for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. Thank your parents and everything. And um, well, everybody's going to get to know you once they've seen this interview. Thank you so much for your time and uh, enjoy the rest of your summer and stay yeah, safe and you. healthy, okay? Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you so much, Lucas. Take care. Bye. Bye.